It'd be something to see Cause you know we're too far gone To ever be The same way we've been so long It'd be something to see We could make it if we hold on Hold on The way it should be with love leading us along, love leading us along, we can make it if we hold on, hold on, the way it should be, with love leading us along, love leading us along. Boom! Just wanted to start y'all off with a little extra extra today because I'm about to wild out because, hey, it's somebody's birthday. Hey, 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 hey. Birthday, hey, hey, hey. Umbrella, hey, hey, hey. And I'm about to wild out just because I can. It's uh, Wednesday night and I'm going to upload this tonight too. So you're getting this one uh, wild and crazy and live right um, right as I'm recording it. So um, anyway, yeah. How y'all feeling this week? Because I didn't really know what I was even... I didn't know if I was going to even do one this week. You, and you know why? Because like I said, it's my baby's birthday. But guess what? She's not my real baby. And yeah, I was wilding out. You know, I texted her this morning. Let her know happy birthday. Same time she texted me on my birthday. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, Didn't really hear anything. Oh. But I was like... Once again, there was no way that I um couldn't hit her up on her birthday. It just it is what it is. I love her too much, and that's just the way it's gonna be, like forever. This is some good wing stop. So you might get either hungry on this episode, or you might get annoyed on this episode. One or the other, because at the end of the day, something that I've been realizing over this whole journey on the podcast is it's not really it's not really up to nobody to tell you how to feel and at the end of the day I'm not on here to change nobody's mind about nothing um <clears throat> I'm not on here to judge anybody Although I am open to being um, to being judged by any and every one of you, um, but I just look at it now like this is this is just this is this is fun for me, and it is healing like we like we've talked about. You know, I had my last episode with my um with my, one of my ex coworkers, Shayona. You know, she got a podcast, her show about nothing podcast. Catch, catch that one. That's what I got playing in the background. I wish you could see it a little bit better, but you know, it's just the angles and the lighting and everything. See if I move around and I can, y'all can see it, see me a little better. But this ain't the best camera. But as long as you can see me right here in your face with this chicken wing, um, mm, so good. But so, I started this podcast once again back in. June. That was when I first posted the first episodes back in June. I recorded the first episode in May, like the last day of May, something like the last day of May. Um, had to get my stuff straight before I did it, but I sat on it for a minute, not because I wasn't gonna post it, but because um, I just needed it to be perfect before I posted it. I mean, not perfect as far as recording. And I just needed everything, the rollout, to be cool, you know. So I did a little. You know, about to do a podcast. I didn't have a name. I was I uploaded it actually to SoundCloud first. Uploaded it to SoundCloud first. But like, I didn't know that it would actually even get listeners. You know what I mean? I didn't even know that it would get listeners because, you know, like, I didn't say what I was going to be talking about. Or, I mean, I didn't tell nobody I was doing it. I just dropped it. And I don't even know why I'm telling you this right now. But I'm saying, like, if it's something that you want to do, yeah, you know, you do it. Um... So, mm-hmm, get all in there. So, leading up to this day, 
I was really trying to figure out what I was going to do for the for her actual birthday. Um, I really just thought to myself, I want a party. She's not here. She's probably having fun. I love my ex still. And um, I just decided to at least get on here and talk and eat wings. I mean, I guess you could call it party wings. <laughs> you know? Did this count as um, what they call it when people eat on the screen? Boot gang? Um, boot yacht gang? Or ASMR? I don't know. But about the ASMR stuff. So y'all should check out. I don't know about. Sorry ladies. I don't know if they got anything for y'all. Because I didn't check for y'all. I was doing me. But remember how I was telling you in the last episode. That I did some. Um, what do you call it? Some weird secret type stuff. To try and manifest. Um, you know text messages. She didn't text back by the way. So that stuff didn't work. Now she texts because she actually wants to. My magic didn't work. But, um, so I'm looking around and something just popped in my head. I would, the dude that be talking on the, um, on the affirmations and stuff, you know, it's a guy. And I'm like, okay, I don't necessarily want to go to sleep to a man talking. So let me look up a woman. And then I was like, oh, sexy voice lady. So I looked that up, and <clears throat> there's something called FHO. FHO. I didn't even know what it was when I clicked it. But when the lady started talking, telling me about it, you know what it stood for? First, I'm going to tell you what she do. They play these sounds on these different, you know, like, Hertz or whatever you want to call it. Different vibrations. Boo, 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 boo. Stuff like that. Boo, 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 boo. So this is weird. And this is just something I really just stumbled on. And I was like, should I even tell people about this? Not not you guys, but like friends and stuff. Because I wanted to send it to the, to the group text. But anyway. I'm like, um. You hearing these sounds. Like vibrating sounds to your eardrums. At first I didn't even want to listen to the, um. I didn't want to listen to it in my headphones because I didn't feel like going to get my headphones. But once I got my headphones, I was like, oh my gosh. The sounds, first, the first one was supposed to just literally be sounds that bring you to orgasm. Yes. Literally just sounds. Going. Right. So I'm like. Um, sorry, felt something in my mouth. So I'm like, this thing, this can't work. But I believed in it, so I kept, I let it play, let it play, let it play. And I'm not even gonna lie. <clears throat> After a while, I started feeling something. I'm not gonna get too much into that. You know what I was feeling, but I'm thinking you could guess by now. Sorry, need more light, right? It's getting dark. I planned on doing this right when I got home, and I was actually gonna do DoorDash. The reason why I didn't do DoorDash this time is because I realized DoorDash was trying to play people. Don't let me get off uh, subject, y'all. Don't let me get off subject. Oh, hi, me. Um, <clears throat> more light on for y'all. But um, yeah, so I was like, I'm starting to really feel something with this weird sound. And it's really just vibrating. I'm like, how is this even working, right? But then you continue to go down a rabbit hole of YouTube. And there's women who actually do something called an FHO. Now, have you guessed what FHO means yet? I'm good with something. Mm, that's a wrap. Mm-hmm. What's up? The camera mess you up. A lot. Too much ranch. This should be on the Dipping Sauce podcast. Anyway. You got you had a second. FHO basically stands for no, not FHO. HFO. I'm sorry. HFO stands for hands free. Y'all get the O yet? Hands free orgasm. 
That's right. Hands free orgasm. Mm, mm, I love chicken. I'm sorry. I'm looking at someone on the camera. Hands free orgasm, bro. Right? So I'm like, there ain't no way in the world this is gonna work. So I listen and I'm listening and I'm listening. It's like 50 minutes to an hour long. And once it, but this time it's a lady talking. And you're hearing sounds. You hear her voice and she's giving you a story. And she's talking and she's talking. And it's going back and forth in each ear. Boom, 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 boom. She's saying, do this. Do, no, well, he, she's not giving you real instructions. She's basically telling you what's going to happen to you and stuff like that. And then they do this thing where they, like, they, it's like hypnotizing. And I've always been into, you know, hypno, hip, hypnosis. So do this thing where it's like, wait, this snap sound. So you go under and you're really feeling like every time you hear this snap sound, your body jumps. And it's not because you're scared. It's just she hypnotized, you know, you to be that way. So no lie. I get to pulsing down there. I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, oh, my God. Like, you got to be kidding me. Oh, it's hitting me, right? It's really working. Now, maybe I need a little bit more practice. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe a little need a little bit more practice. But I can see how it could work because it didn't work. I did not have a hands-free orgasm. But in a lucid state... And you just hear these sounds and this woman talking and you hear other ladies' noises. And then they start doing sex sounds. I was like, oh my God, this is freaking crazy. How is this allowed in life on YouTube? But it is. It is, right? So that's all I got to say about that. They didn't even give me no napkins. Oh yeah. Is this from there? Hands-free orgasm. Something for y'all to try out. So ladies, if y'all like that kind of stuff, <clears throat> you know, y'all gotta check that on your own. But um, anyway, back to Ari. Uh, what I was saying about my ex, because y'all know I love that woman so much. Like, I just feel like I could quit this at any time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could stop doing this podcast at any time. I could start liking somebody else at any time. I don't really feel like I'm tied to to her anymore. Not in that sense. <clears throat> but I do feel like I'm making a choice. Sorry I'm reading something because I did have like notes and stuff that I, you know, that I, I in, my, in my head though. So I was thinking maybe did I write it down. But I guess I didn't. But, um. I guess like I feel like I could give it all up at any minute now. But it's like I don't I don't really want to. Like and I know in the last episode I, I said like it's an obsession, but like at the end of the day, like I don't think I I don't think that I would care if she was talking to somebody else. And I've said this before too, but like I'm just reiterating it. I don't want to stop loving her. So if I was to die with these feelings, I'm okay with it. Like, that's cool. It's whatever. Like, I love this woman so much. And, like, she doesn't owe me anything at all. You know what I'm saying? So, I just feel like... I was, like, walking to my car today. And I was just thinking, like... You know what? I don't care. I really don't care if she was to meet somebody else, get married or whatever. Then that just mean that I don't find someone and get married. I mean, like my person is not going to be her. And that's just the way the world rocked me. And that's just what it is. Like so many people are out there like, oh, it didn't work out with me and her. So I'm going to just go find somebody else. I'm not like that, apparently, because I have... I don't want to say I've given it my a real good shot or a real big try or anything like that, but I mean I've been in situations, I've met people, but I just it don't it just don't work out. And like I said this to somebody too who shall not be named, but um I was like when I when I first started trying to talk to the one new chick or whatever, and maybe I put it out there. What did I say? 
Anyway, um, maybe I put it out there, but I basically said like I feel like once, um, what if, what if I start talking to this woman, and then God is like, nope, I'm not gonna let you um hurt her. I'm not gonna let you get into her head, and she start liking you, and then you know you want to go back to beep beep beep, and you want to go back to her. I'm not gonna let you do it, right? So she was like, no, nah, that's not gonna happen. God wouldn't do that, or blah 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, I'm just saying, like it's already a feeling because I knew that coming into that situation, I had feelings for my ex still, and I have, you know. So I was like, it could happen, but whatever. So I still, I went along with it. I just went along with it. I tried, you know, it did not work out. And again, maybe it will eventually work out, but it has not working out, worked out now. So uh, I kind of feel like I, it's, I don't want to go, I don't want to go away. I don't want this to go away. So yeah, if if something was to happen, she could do her thing. I'm gonna keep doing mine, and it's like it just it is what it is. So I hope nobody get mad at me because I'm just rocking. I'm just a happy happy young boy. Like, and that's the thing is like I'm not. I, I think I said it in another podcast too. Or maybe I'll just be thinking stuff and I don't say it. Y'all tell me. Y'all listen. Um, I don't want the misconception to be that I'm upset or sad <clears throat> because I'm I'm not. But like I said, like sometimes I, you know, I think about her a lot and I, I get a little upset or sad, but it's not like a constant thing. And I mean, eventually that's, that's going to go away too, where I'm not even going to, I'm not going to be upset or mad. Like I'm like, you know, you miss anybody from your past, you know what I'm saying? That you had something with and it, you know, you could say, oh, yours ended bad, but I don't even think the situation ended bad. Like nothing really happened. Like not saying like to her, maybe something really did happen in on her side. Maybe I made her feel some kind of way, but for me, Nothing, it wasn't like a bad thing, right? Like, it just wasn't like a bad thing that happened. So, for me, I'm like, dang, like, I mean, besides all the stuff she, you know, the the stuff that I feel like she said, you know, like, she felt like she was wasting her good years. <laughs> that's messed up. That is definitely, that's, that's 100% messed up. And I don't think she was just saying it, you know, out of, you know, anger. I think she really meant it. But I think that's what meant so much at the same time is for somebody to say they they feel like they're missing out on their good years while messing with you. That means that they feel like they gave a lot to you. And that that means that they 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 really did have feelings for you and they really did love you. And they were, you know, that didn't work out. So they feel like they wasted time like that's a difference, though. I don't feel like I wasted time with her. This was nine years going on 10. I could have been in another relationship, probably married some new girl, you know, had the daughter that I always wanted. Um, my son has always wanted a sibling, you know, since he could say he wanted a sibling. Um, but it's 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 although that's what I wanted, I wanted it with one special person. I wanted it with her. And since it didn't happen, <clears throat> you know, it's like this is that's just life. That's just life. That's just it's it's just life. That's that's this the way my life turned out, right? I have a great job now. Um about to get a little money and I'm not talking about taxes. I'm not. Um so that's good. I just got my review back, you know, from my job and you know, pretty much it was great. I basically got, you know, successful in everything, you know? So, I mean, like, what do I have to really be sad about? Like, it really, yeah, it sucks that I'm not with her. Yeah, it sucks that I lay down at night sometimes and I wish that she was here. But then I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, take my shower, 
get in the car or catch the bus to the, you know, to the BART station and get to my job. And that's what anybody who, anybody that had heartbreak, you know how, when you really going through it, you know how hard it really is to do everything that I just said. And I had me some times where it was hard for me to get up. I'm going to try to talk a little bit loud. I'm going to mix this drink right now because this was cheap at Winco. So I'm going to have to get some more. <laughs> Old school. I didn't drink when I was a kid, so I'm still experimenting. And the truth about it is, I was thinking today when I was driving home, like, I don't really be feeling drunk. Like, I might play around and act silly and stuff like that, but I don't really be feeling drunk when I drink. And even when I was, when I start when I used to go out with my ex and stuff like that, I had, um, I used to have to just pee real bad. I would just have to pee. So I would pee. And then whatever feeling was about to come, whatever tipsy feeling was about to come, would just disappear. But anyway, let me shake it a little bit. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That is hypnotic and cirrhotic. You heard it first. Um, We call it cirrhotic. That's my new drink. Dang, man, my chicken getting cold talking to y'all. And then I did have some more points that I wanted to point out, but they're not coming to me right now because I sang that song in the beginning, which was a beautiful song called, I think it's called Something to See by Glenn Lewis. Y'all remember Glenn Lewis? Yeah, Something to See by Glenn Lewis. I just, Glenn Lewis. Um, Something to See, yeah. Um, I want to sing a song for y'all real quick. And then uh, maybe I'll sing happy birthday. <clears throat> <clears throat> I gotta sing the... Can you really sing, like, the black version in, like, a real singy voice? I don't know. Happy birthday to you. That's all you get. I don't really feel like singing happy birthday like that. Need, I need, we need confetti and all that. But anyway, what do y'all want coming in the next few months from this podcast? Because I got stuff. I still got people that I need to interview, people I want to talk to and all of that. But, um, oh, that's funny. Just scrolling. And y'all know... Y'all, y'all know Rolanda underscore show, Rolanda show. She's have a podcast with her brother, um, Lil Duval. I'm just scrolling, and it says, "Man, y'all be making me cuss." It say, "In case no one told you today, you look hella cute, and your ex ain't shh." That's from Rolanda. So shout out to Rolanda for saying that. And I clicked her story. What it say? Why many bisexual people? Don't just come out. Maybe because they're more straight than gay. And and the mix don't work. That's actually a good question. If you know somebody bisexual, why do you think that they don't just come out? I know I switched gears, but that was actually a good question. I don't know anybody that's, that's bisexual. I mean, but if they're not out, I wouldn't know. But I would theorize, theoretically speaking... I would say it's because either they're actually not sure. Maybe they just experimented a little bit a few times or maybe they do it all the time, but they still don't feel like they're gay because they're bi. So they're actually straight or maybe they really don't like the other, the the same sex. They don't like the same sex, you know, like as far as relationships go, but to them just sex is sex you know what I mean like an orgasm is an orgasm they don't care who it come from you know they, they're not grossed out by just the same sex body you know like I'm a man so there's no way I um, another nasty hairy man like I can't do it I mean but even if you was a woman and you was hairy I could consider it but anyway that was actually a good good question from from Rolanda, and she's 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 actually um, she's a lesbian, but she's so pretty. I be flirting too much with these people on here, 
on Instagram. I'm not afraid. Like I told uh, Mozzie on the other podcast, I'm not afraid to get at a celebrity. Um, she funny looking. I'm not afraid to get at a celebrity on here or a, a model. Either you're just going to respond or you're not going to respond. And that's another one of my problems. I really be getting like mad. Like I be talking to mad like women. My grandmother asked me yesterday um, if I was talking to somebody. And I mean, I couldn't. I mean, I'm not. But then, you know what she said after that? She said, I mean, I know you're talking. To, you got some some women in your life. And I knew exactly what she meant. My grandmother was wild for that one. Um, but I didn't, you know, I can't tell my grandmother, you know, the sex capades and stuff like that. And plus, I don't really be getting it in like that no more. I just be talking to a lot of people because I'm really just trying to promote the podcast, promote the book, Novella Noir. I ain't forgotten. That's what I got to show y'all, too. Um, hold on. And I need some, I really need to get my part twos going because y'all, they be telling me you're going to do a part two. Y'all need to really come through. And it's only a few exceptions because I actually know what y'all got going on. But some of y'all, y'all be playing. Anyway. Happy birthday to my lovely, my lovely ex. I don't care what y'all say. I love her. Period. But anyway, I got some, I got some books. I'm probably getting chicken grease on it, but I need to sign these. I need to sign these books. You know, got some to give out. I mean, for y'all to buy. I mean, maybe I'll give some out if y'all really hit me up about them, but y'all be playing all the time. I still see y'all listening. Do y'all know yesterday? Yesterday. No, today, this morning. I look at my stats. It went from 49. It was teetering on 48 and 49 for the week. And that's low. You know what I'm saying? I should be doing a lot better. But by mid, like an hour later, all of a sudden, it was up to 78. Like, so something I did worked. I don't know what. Maybe somebody finally actually shared my podcast with somebody. So it went up. That's like 30 plays in just a few hours. So I'm like, whoever helped me out, do that again. You know, but that's why I'm doing the YouTube videos too. And y'all see me posting all the time on Instagram because I really need this podcast to pop. You know what I'm saying? I wrote another celebrity a letter today about the book. So I'm not going to say who that is yet. Maybe if I hear from him or maybe if I don't hear from him and it's like a month, two months, three months later, then I'll say who it is if they never respond. But... I didn't send the letter yet, but I'm a, I am, you know, it's a nice little, you know, a nice way of saying, hey, I would like to work with you on my on my story. So, you know, if y'all could, you know, help a brother out a little bit, you know, I know y'all know people. I know y'all got contacts. I know y'all listening. Y'all know I, I'm, I'm, I'm a talker now because I used to hate talking, especially I'm sitting here talking to nobody right now. I don't know if y'all understand that. I'm sitting here in my room. With the TV behind me. And I would much like to be watching The Flash right now. Because I love Candace Patton. Mm. Um, But there's nobody here. Just me. You know who I'm talking to? I'm not talking to me. I'm not talking to the screen. I'm talking to to the people. To the potential audience. So cheers to the potential audience that might watch. That's how much faith I've had to have in my in, in doing this. Because I don't, I don't know who's listening to it. Like I said, I, I know some people have hit me up and said they listen to the podcast, you know. But not everybody, you know, hits me up. And I need to know. Comment under my pictures. Say I listen to the podcast. If you, go, if you literally go to my Instagram, you can send me an email. Actually, maybe I should check my, my, my emails. Because I think that's my art creeps. And I don't really be, I don't really be using that. So maybe y'all, maybe y'all emails be going to the spam or something like that. But you can also text me. I give my real number out and also my fake, not fake, but you know, like my Google number. So y'all could hit it up. Say what's up. 
Call the number. Leave some voicemails. Let me know what's good for real. Um, I really don't have no more news or nothing like that for y'all. It was a good week. Um, Is that the dog? Yeah, that dog would be annoying. But, um, anyway, I guess that's it, really, because I'm about to eat. Like I said, I almost wasn't even going to post nothing today, but I really just wanted to say happy birthday to my muse. If you ever get this message, just know. I love you. I'll always love you. You'll always be my one. Many will come. Many will go. But you will always have a place in my soul, in my heart, in my bed. I will kick anybody out for you unless you say they can stay. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's all I got for y'all today. I'm going to try to get my interviews back up or my guests back up because I still have people saying, yes, we'll do it. They, you know, like I told y'all a long time ago, it's just a scheduling. Um, but again, anyway, I'm about to eat. I still got about eight wings. Y'all only ate two. I could have ate this whole thing in five minutes if I wasn't talking to y'all. But anyway. <clears throat> I'll leave y'all with the song again. Well, actually, I'll say the beginning. I was thinking you and me could start again. Fulfill the dream. Read that somewhere you and me. Wait, I don't, that ain't even how it go. Y'all don't even know how many times I had to restart the first part of the video just to get that right. Oh. I was thinking you and me could start again, fulfill a dream. Read that somewhere we would find paradise. Walls of change have clearly fell Sure with love's cry out for help If you'd only try with me And see that we ooh, Should be trying to find a cause Before a problem falls but know that just to be with you in a love that's truly free That could be you and me It'd be something to see <clears throat> Let me do that part again <laughs> It was a little spit in my throat, let me drink some It'd be something to see Cause you know we're too far gone To ever be The same way we've been so long It'd be something to see We can make it if we hold on The way it should be with love leading us alone. Y'all gotta get, get on that and y'all could hear the rest of it. Anyway, it's the Daily Deep Heart Ed Podcast. Happy birthday to you. Spelt your name out. Boom. Love y'all. I'm out.